In this video, I'll show you how to automate parameters in third-party plugins inside FL Studio. In FL Studio, you can simply right-click almost any fader or knob and select Add Event or Add Automation Clip. It's very easy. If it's a third-party plugin, however, then this won't work. You can live record the movement of the knobs the same way, but you can't manually add automation by right-clicking. In order to add an automation clip, we'll have to do it like this. Here I have a third-party synth called Spire, which is generating the sound you hear in the background. Let's say I wanted to automate this cutoff frequency knob right here. As you can see, when I right-click, nothing happens. What you need to do is simply use the knob. Just move it slightly back and forward. That way, FL Studio will know that you've touched it. Then, go to Tools, Last Tweaked, and then Create Automation Clip. The automation clip will then be inserted into the playlist and you can now adjust the cutoff like so. I hope this was helpful. You can help me make more videos like this by supporting me on Patreon. Any contribution will be much appreciated. You can find the link in the description below. I'm uploading new tutorials and templates every week, so make sure to subscribe to this channel so that you won't miss out. Is there any specific tutorial you'd like me to make? Or perhaps you have a question? Just leave me a comment below.